On average, the black dollar circulates for about six hours in a black community. We need to do better as a community to support black owned businesses, but that's sometimes easier said than done. Before we can support black owned businesses, we need a readily available economic search engine to be able to find those black businesses to support in our communities. The Central Black Business app is the answer to that question. The EBA is always on the community side, meeting the community's needs with easy access. When I look at how other nationalities and other continents are so determined and so in unity about keeping us as African people globally under subjugation, and then I look at us, I look at our brethren, our brothers and sisters on the continent and in the diaspora, ripping each other apart because probably this person has said or done something that uh, you disagree with, and then you rip them apart. My brethren, we can not present ourselves as a disunited group of people, especially when we are up against people and entire continents that run systems that are united, that are in harmony about keeping us down and subjugated. There is a saying in Swahili that kokosana uh, ndomwanzo wakuelewana, meaning that uh, this agreement is the beginning of agreement. In other words, it is okay to express your disagreement with somebody in a way that does not publicly disgrace them. Because you see, if I disgrace you and you're my brother, my sister, you are from the motherland, I am subconsciously or indirectly disgracing myself. If you say something, especially, I have noticed this about our influencers, you know, all across the board, be it from the diaspora or, uh, you know, from the continent, people rip each other apart, you know. You can express your disagreement with somebody without stripping them naked, especially before the world. You know, you know, I, I, I like this sister. I made I read a commentary about you know the role of the woman in the current society and how it has been, you know, uh, metamorphosed over a period of time. And she came to my email address. She started out, you know, angry. We started exchanging back and forth. I was telling, okay, I'm, no, this is what I meant when I say this, this. You know, she started off very angry. But then as it, uh, um, as we kept on exchanging, her tone came down. And she actually, I hope she did, started seeing, you know, what I was seeing or what I actually meant by what I was saying. That's the health way to put it. But then you have a large audience and, you, you know, I mean, I, I really don't think that what that is what we should do. We should be uniting against all odds, especially since they say that the odds are against us. You know, we should be, um, uh, I don't know, just, just try to, as much as it is possible, you can, you can air your disagreement with somebody without stripping them naked. Because without unity, this thing will not work. This global awakening will never come to realization because otherwise we shall be moving five steps forward and then 10 steps backwards. You know, let us learn to honor they that have gone ahead of us. You know, if there are people that are elders and I, he I see younger people in their twenties and their thirties ripping, you know, elders of maybe 60, 70 years, you know, th there is a space for wisdom. You know, there is a space for disagreement, but there is a, an orderly and respectable way to air our differences or our disagreements, especially if it's with, uh, you know, difference in opinion. So my brethren, I appeal to you, influencers out there, whether you're a TikTok influencer, Facebook influencer, YouTube influencer, regardless of any platform that, you know, God has graced you to, to have a good audience. Please, please, please let us lift each other up against all odds. Let us... Let us just present a united front, be it on the continent, in the diaspora, wherever you are. You know, my brethren, unity, unity, with unity we all win. But if we keep, you know, exposing our nakedness, if we keep, you know, uh, showing ourselves to the rest of the world as a group that is just basically um, throwing runs and ripping each other apart, and this person says this, and then this other person responds and calls them out and basically puts them down. I don't think that that is the way to go. With unity, we all will win, and the global African awakening will come to its fullness. We shall harvest the fruits therein.
if we can understand that the people that we are trying to free ourselves from socially, politically, economically are united. Unity is their, their silver bullet. We have to deploy that very, we have to be seen, be found in unity. If we are indeed to break the shackles by the grace of the Lord, who will help us indeed, who is determined, you know, even God looks for a group of people that are united, that he may bestow his blessing upon them. Please preach the message of unity to your brother, to your sister. Please make up, call that person that you probably ripped apart, that you you know, called out that you put down because of something they wrote or a video they did or something they said. Just, just let's be people of love and be people of reconciliation. Let's be people of warmness because that's who we are. That's what's inherent in us as African people. We, we have traditionally resolved our differences without having to cause, you know, such rift and such bloodshed, you know, in quotes. So I appeal to us, brethren, please let us be reconciled before we can move forward. Let us be one unit before we move forward. Let us be in one spirit. Let us be in one voice. Let us be in one mind, you know, and this global African awakening, we shall harvest the fruits they are in. My name is Douglas Majoga, and I thank you for being a committed, devoted supporter and follower of the African Diaspora News Channel and the Africa Today broadcast. Thank you for your love, for your support. I will see you next time. And remember the African Diaspora Investment and Community Expo is happening in the summer of June 22nd, 2023. The details will be in the description. The website is already up. All that information is on there. Thank you for those of you that have been sending us your financial support over the, the years. You know, thank you, Brother Phil, you know, for being a pillar in this global African awakening movement. Thank you, Brother Kellen Cash, and the entire team of the African Diaspora News Channel. Sister Wongel, Zalalem, uh, Sister Dimitri Kaye, and all my fellow, you know, commentators and contributors. Peace and one love from the motherland. I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Hey family, make sure you join us on the new and improved AfricanDiasporaNews.org. Now it is our uncensored and raw truth website. We have to make sure to have our own website because on social media platforms, they do have rules and at any time they could change a rule and shut a whole genre down. Now that would not happen to us because on AfricanDiasporaNews.org, we can speak the truth. We don't have to hold back. So make sure you join our website today.